Hey, what's up? This has got screens printing and vinyl with another update. Today is December 1st, 2014. So we've been trying to frag a, a lot of the stuff in the tank. We just need some stuff to get bigger. Like this here, we'll be fragging. I fragged a chunk off of him. Uh, we'll be fragging the candy cane on the frog spawn. They have uh, two heads each on these top back ones. There's one head right here on the top, and then another head on the bottom over there. But yeah, these things are cool. My mushrooms, uh, I just started fragging, so, you know, but I, I got a bunch of stuff I want to frag up. We've got some in here, a bunch of different zoanthids, pallies. That's one of my little things I just put together with suction cups to hold those little frags. And those came from this species right here. Um, some up there. Here, those are like red. Those are like a goldish color. The husband William was found in the shower. He wasn't quite as lucky. There's some red ones there. Evisceration. That's typical of disorganized behavior. Despite all the blood, this crime scene shows method. Uh, I just control. started fragging flower pot coral, which they're usually all open, but one had got knocked over, so I had to go to the back of the tank and get them. Uh, that first piece has about. 30 heads, the one in the middle has about 6, and this one right on the side has about 20, um, and they're nice when they come out, they're really nice, I got a bag of mushrooms back there, another one there, there's some zoanthids, uh, there's some more mushrooms there that have to be fragged, green star polyp frag. That's the leather mushroom frag. I got a bin of Kenya tree frags. The one right on the side of it has mushrooms in it. And these mushrooms have like a purplish blue glow. They're not the cheap ones. My mushrooms, as you can see, they get very large. But I lose frags all over the tank. You can see there's another frag down there. I'm still missing another one. Uh, that one on the shell, there's another one like that. And I just, I don't know where it's at. This is uh, a flower pot I fragged. Uh, when I did all my frags, they opened up within 20 minutes after I fragged them. They didn't even know. It's a mother calling me of my green star polyps and she's ready to give more. I'll be fragging these mushrooms here. This here. Kenya trees, you can see my forest. Where my tank's coming along. I have some nice coralline algae up here. Uh, it's on the back in different spots, real nice. Uh, it's, it's coming along. I will be fragging this guy next with these record, uh, yeah, Redactus SP mushrooms. They have a nice green glow. There's another flower pot that's ready to be fragged. I just fed them a little while ago, and you can see, you know. That's what they were holding on to. That's the food they'll suck in, which is a good thing, you know. That's how we know all our fish are eating. Got some more wet back there. I shut off the main 
I shut off my main return pump. My my tank drains to here when my return pump's off. Right here where it says Cheeto line. That's my Cheeto right here. It's growing like crazy. I haven't even added more to the tank. Uh, I got live rock down here. You can see I got a bit of red slime. I haven't really cleaned it, but the fish are taking care of everything. The cleanup crew. I have some green algae down there. But you can see the life plan is taking over everything. So my nitrates are pretty much staying perfect. Um, I haven't dumped this out in a while. It's my protein skimmer cup, but I run the phosphate pack, carbon, bio balls, the Cheeto, and the, I forgot the other style of weedy um, plant, live rock down there. Air stove. I got some more shells and stuff that I just put right there to holster out all the tank. Media reactor. Stuff to remove nitrate. Big protein scanner filter sock. Power head in there to move around the water. And it is actually off right now. Wow, let's go here. And see why it's not on. Or it is on, it's just facing down. No, it's actually not on. Okay, so you see here. I don't think this whole bar is working. There you go, that's my tank. I'll figure that out right now. Um, I got this long black spline urchin I want to get rid of. Uh, I want to get rid of this fox face. He has one eye, but you can see he's a swimmer. He loves just taking off in the tank. He's too big. I got a blue tang hiding in there that I want to get rid of. Uh, just way too big for the tank. And she's just too aggressive for my fish. I got my Valentini puffer I want to get rid of. But there you go, that's the tank update. I think it's update number 22, 23. The tank's doing great. Got a lot of color in the rocks now. Everything's coming along, people. Oh yeah, and that was my uh, frag rack I made with my magnet cleaner. It's actually glued on the top, but I just put the tie straps to tighten it to make sure if it does fall, it ain't going nowhere. Alright, peace out.